Hello, Cho, and welcome to the Smithsonian Native American Museum. We are so thankful that you are here today to join us with the Choctaw Arts and Music Festival. We'd like to start today's program to showcase some of the Choctaw culture through our dancing. A few years ago, the Choctaw Nation had two main dance troops, and both of those troops only had about 10 dancers. And so as we were being invited to come out and share our culture through dancing, we decided that it would be awesome if we started an employee dance troupe. So we began with about 10 employees. And as we began to grow, now we have over 40 of us that are dancing, and we continue to grow. And the dancers that you're going to see here today are part of that employee dance troupe. And would you welcome them today as they showcase some of our dances? <laughs> Brad Joe will be chanting for us today. And Choctaw dances exemplify a spirit of cooperation because of the way the chanters, dance leaders, and dancers work together. There are three kinds of Choctaw dance war dances, social dances, and animal dances that recognize creatures that were important to Choctaw people. The first dance that you're going to see today is the jump dance. The jump dance was performed in celebration of victories in war by the Choctaws in ancient times and was the principal good time dance of the old time Choctaws. It was often danced after a successful hunt. This dance is sometimes called the stomp dance. Yo Helena, yo Helena, yo Helena, yo Helena, yo Helena, yo Yo Helena, yo Helena, yo Helena, yo Helena, we he yo he, yo Helena, we he yo he, yo Helena, yo Helena, yo Helena, yo Helena, yo. Yo Helena, yo Helena, yo Helena, yo Helena, yeah, oh, yo. Thank you, that was wonderful. The next dance that we're going to do here at the National Museum of the American Indian is the four step war dance. War dances were used by early Choctaws to prepare for battle. Choctaw war dances are unusual in that the women join the men in dancing. In most other tribes, only men take part in the war dancing. Yeah, you, yeah, you, way, yeah. Way up, 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 Yahweh, 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 Yahwe
Next is the Stealing Partners Dance. This is a crowd favorite. Choctaws use this dance as a fun and safe place to introduce young people to one another. The lead dancer will bolt from his place, run to the female portion of the line, and seize one of the women or girls. The fun continues as each person gets a chance to steal a partner. So if one of the dancers comes and asks you to dance, please say yes. And you see why they are Choctaw social dances. They're a lot of fun. Now the next dance is the snake dance. The snake dance is in respect of the snake, particularly the diamondback rattlesnake, which was respected by our Choctaw ancestors. This dance is a favorite of children and adults. One of the ways some groups like to end the snake dance is by coiling around the chanter until the chanter is no longer able to beat the drum or move. That maneuver is called the snake eating a rabbit. 
Brad Cho's gonna be our rabbit. Does anyone else wanna join us for this dance? If, you, if you'd like to, feel free to come out. Kids, you wanna come out and dance? Yahoo! Yo! Thank you. It looks like we have a lot of up and coming dancers from the audience here. Very good, guys. Appreciate you very much. The last dance of the afternoon is going to be the walk dance. The walk dance is often the first and sometimes the last dance 
in our Choctaw performances. It's very dignified and solemn, and it served to show off the finery of the dancers. The walk dance is noted for its many songs, and it's the favorite dance of older dancers. It's a tribute to our ancestors who made the walk of the Trail of Tears. Sometimes it's called the tick dance, but we prefer to call it the walk dance. Uh, before we do this last dance, this is a very respectable dance and also a very honorable dance. Myself, um, this dance is very special. This is the first time I've done it since 2014, the last time we were here. Uh, the last time that we were here, I've lost both my mother and my father within a year's time. So this dance really touches my heart because towards the end of the song, there's a, a Choctaw saying that is Iyali Kano, which means I am going to a different place. That reflects the Trail of Tears, our ancestors that had to make that long journey. And it also reflects all of those that have already gone from the current life. And not only myself, we've, have, we've lost some young people back in Oklahoma within this past week, all being under the age of 35 within a week's time. So this dance, we always close with it, but this time I'm doing it from a different perspective because I do it for my mother and my father today. And any one of you that may have are going through grief or going through hard times, it's not an easy road. It's not an easy road to live with just one parent, but to have both of your parents gone at a young age, it's hard to adapt to the life that you live after that. And that's what I'm doing today. And I'm glad I have my family support with my fellow employees here to help me along this journey that I'm taking. So this dance is our final dance, and it's an honor, da honor dance, and it's the walk dance. Yahweh, Yahweh, Hoya. 
Thank you, thank you for helping us honor our heritage.